In this video, we're going to show you how to install the camshaft position sensor on your Ford Taurus located underneath the air intake tube. We want to follow our air intake tube back to the throttle body and we're going to use an eight millimeter socket to loosen the hose clamp here. Once that's loose, come on down here and there's a hose right here connecting to the side. There's a little gray clip. You're going to gently pull that out and back. That's going to allow you to go ahead and pop that hose off. On the air filter lid here, there's going to be two spring clips down at the bottom. Pop those off. And we're going to pull this up as well as pull this back a little bit. Now on the back here, before we yank this off, there is a vacuum hose right here. We just need to pull that up and off. That's it. Let's go ahead and work this off. Lift up and as you pull it out, there's these three tabs here that need to come out of the air filter base. Go ahead and set that aside. Let's go ahead and remove our eight millimeter screws up top here. And lift this up. Now you're going to have four camshaft position sensors. You're going to have two on the front bank here, two on the back. And there's going to be an exhaust on the lower portion, intake on the upper, same thing on the back. Now the back ones are actually easier to get to. They're right underneath the throttle body. The front side here is actually a little bit tougher to get to because you have these pesky hoses in the way. Let's go ahead and tackle this. I'm going to start with a securing strap. I'm going to hook it up on the strut tower brace. Just grab this hose and pull it up out of the brace. And I'm gonna hook this on itself to hold this hose up and out of the way. Now you can see right here, there's one of them right here and there's the other one right beside it. There's a little clip tab right here. You wanna push on this tab and remove this connector. So pinch and lift like so. Now there's an eight millimeter bolt. You can go ahead and pull this hose out of the way. If you want to, you can secure that with something, but that's the bolt right there you want to go ahead and get to. So let's go ahead and get an eight millimeter socket on that with a ratchet and pull that out. We're going to be reusing that bolt, so don't drop it or don't lose it. Simply grab that sensor, you're gonna twist a little bit and pull it out. There it is right there. There's a little O-ring on here that seals that. Now it's always good practice to go ahead and clean up anything around that port. I put a little bit of silicone paste right around the o-ring here itself you can use engine oil uh, you don't want to get all over the sensor but just around that o-ring it's going to help it slide in and seat go ahead and slide that in give it a little twist you can feel that o-ring seat in and then pop right into the place right into position so go ahead and get that bolt started And run that in as far as you can by hand. Let's go ahead and torque this down to 7.4 foot-pounds. There it is. Let's go ahead and connect the connector here. It's going to line that up. Put 
push that down, you're gonna feel in here, click into place. Now this process for this here is identical for the other three. Go ahead and release our hose down, pop that back into the retainer and remove your securing strap if you decided to use that. Now when installing the lower portion of the airbox, you have two studs on the bottom that are gonna fit into the grommets. Lower this down into position. Feel those pop into place. It's going to install the two eight millimeter bolts there. Once those bottom out, give them a little bit more. They do have rubber bushings there. Just snug that down. Let's go ahead and get our air box set up here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tabs in to our airbox base, wiggle those in, then we'll go ahead and lower this down in a position. Now you wanna make sure that the flexible portion here slips over the throttle body. You don't want that to roll over or bind. Make sure that's seated. Clip your air box spring clips here. Install this hose, push it on. It's locked in. Push on the vacuum hose on the back. Let's go ahead and tighten down our hose clamp. I just popped that vacuum hose off there just so I can get clearance with my ratchet. You wanna make sure that's good and snug. That point there, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.